Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Death and Destiny. I'm Death from Above. It's Wednesday, which means it's Arms Day. Everybody flex it out, flex it out, do the Arms Day flex. Rah! So, we're going to talk about the uh, field test weapons he's got, and we're going to talk about the uh, packages I ordered. So, we're going to take a look at the field test weapons first. We're going to start with the Hake Test A Auto Rifle. Um, it wants you to kill Cabal with this. Pretty simple, nothing special. I think you gotta kill like 20 or 25 Cabal. Uh, it's got glass half full. It's got a small mag, so it's not too fun to use. But I went to just patrol on Mars, just killed some, killed some Cabal. Kept running back and forth between the two spawn points and the Barons, and uh, got it knocked out fairly quickly. And then the next field test weapon we have is the what is it? What is it? What is it? The Hake Teste Pulse Rifle. This one comes with Danger Close. This one just requires you to make precision kills. So shoot them in the heads, Guardians. Uh, that's all you got to do. I did this one at the same time as the Amalon Sniper Rifle. I did this one in the uh, the Rocket, no, no, the Forgotten Shore on the Cosmodrome because I was there for the Captain. And this doesn't require any specific target, just that you get headshots. So that one was really, really straightforward, really, really easy. Next is the Soros TSP-10. Uh, use against hive targets. We woke the hive. We went to the dark beyond, and or we I say we, but I, I'm the only person there unless you want to count the ghost. So I went there, shot him in the shot him in the face, and got it knocked out real fast. I think this one takes 25 kills as well. Now moving to the special weapons, you have the Hake Teste shotgun. You got to use this against hive as well. I did this one at the same time I did the pulse rifle for the Suros. I went to the dark beyond, fired him up. And shot him in the face. This one has a close end to a personal, so you get bonus melee damage after you land a hit with this weapon. It's kind of neat, but just kind of a, an interesting perk. And then finally, we have the Amalon Test RR1 sniper rifle. You have to kill fallen, or you don't have to kill fallen captains. You got to shoot fallen captains. Okay. Um, so now the majors do not count. It has to be a red health shielded captain. So you can either do this in the moth yards, or you can go to the Forgotten Shore uh, on the Cosmodrome. The the captain. On Venus, on the Ether uh, Caves does not count, or Ember Caves does not count. He does not count because he is a major. So go to one of those two Cosmodrome locations. There's a couple different captains in those locations. You can shoot them. Um, I did the Forgotten Shore this week. I did the Moth Yards last week. So we've had this gun two weeks in a row. So there's your field test weapons, guys. That's what I got for you. That's my quick, quick and dirty guide on how to get those knocked out. They were up. They give you, I think, two, two to 250 rep each. I was really excited because I thought I was going to hit rank five and get the uh, first curse. But unfortunately, it got me 100 away. So I don't know if these packages will get me there or not. I don't think you get rep for the packages. So we'll just have to wait until next week to get the first curse. But let's take a look at my deliveries. We're going to look at the deliveries, and I'll make some decisions. Now, i got another ARI-45 on my Titan. i got three packages on my Titan and two on my Hunter. We'll go over to my Hunter, and I'll show you those as well. So i got one of each package this, this week. So I'm going to get to choose a couple different guns. Or I'm going to get a choice in each, each gun. So here we have the ARI-45. Um, this is a strong, high-impact auto rifle. Uh, fitted stock, oiled frame, speed reload, rifle barrel, feeding fr feeding frenzy is cool. Um, fitted stock could be cool. Rifled barrel could be cool. That's an okay, okay setup. I've got one just like this. It's got glass, glass is half full, so I'm not looking for that perk. Do not want Icarus. High caliber rounds, casket mag, snapshot, injection mold. Not crazy about the middle selection. And then we have the third selection, which has high caliber, caliber rounds. Oiled frame, speed reload, injection mold, and counterbalance. Counterbalance is nice on a pulse rifle, but I don't know that I needed an auto rifle. We might go with the first one. I think we will go with the first one that has feeding frenzy and fitted stock. It also has a rifled barrel. We'll, we'll do this one. We'll do the first one. So all these weapons will drop at 280. So we'll grab that one. We'll grab the first one. Then we have the sniper rifle, the Amalon sniper rifle, the Uif Rua. Um, it's mid-impact, uh, decent rate of fire. It does not have uh, res ability. It does not have one-shot, headshot, res kill ability that you need for Trials of Osiris, but it's still pretty cool. I like hockey weapons. Um, highlights some of those low health and a long-distance scope. It has outlaw, has partial refund. Eh, 
Not crazy about these. I really like having snapshot on my sniper rifles. Ar high caliber armor piercing and a pended magazine. Um, that's not bad. I wonder what the magazine goes up to. And it does have outlaw. So that's a good perk, but it doesn't have the sights that I like. Let's check out the second selection. It has the low zoom scope and the standard zoom scope. It has rodeo, zen moment, high caliber round, snapshot. Zen moment's kind of lost on a sniper rifle, but snapshot's really good and rodeo could be entertaining. So the, the second one is a maybe. If the third one doesn't have better perks, I'll pick up the second one just for the snapshot. Ah, but the third one has snapshot too. Take a knee, bonus accuracy while crouched. Return a portion of the magazine after an assist. High caliber and uh, increased mag size. Does this one have increased mag size? If it has impended magazine, I'll get the second one. Ooh, all right. Uh, we're going with the second one just for the rodeo and the snapshot. Grab that one. I know y'all are going to tell me in the comments how wrong I was to buy certain guns, but you know, I did. So I'm thinking the middle selection on this is going to be the best. On the uh, DIS 47, the higher rate of fire, lower impact. Perfect balance, hip fire, lightweight, small bore. Perfect balance and small bore could be, could be very nice. Perfect balance and small bore. What is that, hip fire? Hmm, don't like hip fire. But, uh, ooh, brace frame. Or hand laid stock. Increased stability, fitted stock, casket mag, rodeo. Oh my gosh, that'll be a laser beam. That'll be a stinking laser beam. Uh, we might go with that one for just the max stability. And then the third one has range finder, which you don't really need, I think. It has snapshot, small bore, full frame. Let's go with the second one, see if we can get that thing super duper stable just to make it into a laser beam and enjoy the rodeo, fitted stock, hand laid stock, and lightweight. That could be a fun gun. It could definitely be a fun gun. So we're going to go with the second selection. So there are my uh, arms day packages from a Titan. Let's go on over to my Hunter, see what he's got. All right, guys, we're back on my Hunter. We're going to check out my Gunsmith packages or my Gunsmith uh, arms day orders. And on my Hunter, I grabbed the other two, and I actually went and did all the field test weapons on my Hunter just now. So I will get a package from Banshee. Let's see what he's going to give me. A Judith D. Hockey. Oh, and guess what I'm going to get? Back in the saddle. Cool. So... We got, what do we get? Hockey, Hockey Hand Cannon, the Judith D. Look at that impact, man. That's slow rate of fire, but that impact. Hot Swap Outlaw. Ooh, Outlaw. I like it. Speed Reload, High Caliber Rounds, Reinforced Barrel. I like the uh, the Speed Reload, the Hot Swap. Mm, this could be interesting. I'm interested in that gun, Judith D. Hand Cannon. You might see that one later. But for right now, we got to pick some Arms Day packages. I rank up to level three, so that also means I'm getting the Ace of Spades exotic hand cannon. That was that quest that just popped up. And we have a choice of three different options now instead of two. I had two sitting here. I was like, I need to go rank up and get three options. So uh, this is that fusion rifle. If you remember the first week or two that we tested Arms Day weapons, you had to do the one in the Crucible. This is that variant. Um, let's take a look at it. It's the Amalan. It's 280. It's void. What do we have? Army of One, Single Point Sling, Life Support, Danger Close, and Braced Frame. Not a big fan of Braced Frames on Fusion Rifles because you don't, you know, they fire so slowly it's not that big a deal. Uh, accelerated Coils could be good. Ooh, and Range Finder. Hmm. Oh, and Braced Frame again. Eye of the Storm and Hot Swap. That could be the one we go for. Now we've got Hot, hot Swaps on every single one of these. Hot Swap, Quick Draw, Life Support. Eye of the Storm, Oiled Frame, Chance to Start Health Generation. We're going to go with the second one with the Range Finder. Range Finder, Hot Swap, and Accelerated Coils. Yeah, that sounds nice. I like it. We're going to get that one. Got the middle one. And then the Irene RR4 Sniper Rifle. This is the one everybody was excited about. Everybody fussed at me for not grabbing it on my Titan, except I did get it on my Hunter, so chill your deals. It's not that big a deal. So we got Zen Moment. Luck in the Chamber. Ooh, Luck in the Chamber, really. Lightweight, Zen Moment, Shoot, Shoot to Loot, and Injection Mold. This one's interesting. Let's see what scopes we got. Improves range, imaging technology, long distance enemy, at optimal combat range. It's really all about the scopes with the sniper rifles. Then we have Outlaw, which is good. Single point sling and injection mold, replenish, so it's refilled anytime your super is cast. And exhumed. Don't care for exhumed. Longest distance scope. And then the same second scope. And then for the third option, we have clown cartridge, outlaw, 
single point sling, shoot to loot, and rifled barrel with the long distance, longest distance, long highlights in the upper ball cup. So um, I'm thinking the outlaw clown cartridge. Um, let's compare it to Zen Moment Luck in the Chamber. Ranged zoom lens improves range. Uh, they all have the second sight the same. Then we, we have Outlaw on two of them. One of them has Clown Cartridge. So we're going to scratch the second one. The third one looks interesting. I really like the Outlaw. The Clown Cartridge could be good. Uh, single point sling would be useful. Uh, I'm not too worried about the stability unless it is awfully unstable. Then we would have a problem. Luck in the chambers in moment. Shoot to loot. Lightweight injection mold. Hmm. I'm going to go with the third one. We're going to go with Outlaw and Clown Cartridge. So there you go, guys. Those are the guns that I got from the gunsmith. We're going to dance. Hope you had a good arms day. Let me know what you got. Which gun did you pick up? Which gun did I go horribly wrong on? Which gun did I get the best one ever? Don't worry, guys. I will get all the packages. I've got enough, I got enough levels on all my characters to pick up all the packages. And yes, I have cash. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I know it says I have no glimmer. Don't worry about that. Anyway, guys, I'm a dancing out. Thanks for watching. Leave some comments below. Let me know what you got. Let me know what you want me, to, what you want to see me look at. Because I got a bunch of guns. I got six new guns. Really, got six new guns. So, um, let me just think. I'm gonna dance it out. You guys have a great day. I will see you. Bye.